So let's have our assembly program actually do something. And, and the first thing I need to do is tell it to do something from our C++ program. And again, I'm going to type some stuff. May make sense, may not. If it doesn't, don't stress it. Just follow along. I'm going to say extern uh, C void uh, do it. And then down here in main, I'm going to write do it which basically says go and invoke the function do it, which is somewhere else. Where where else will it be? It will be in the assembly program. Okay, if you're familiar with C++, hopefully you see that I'm just sending execution on over there. If you're not familiar with it, don't stress it. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Do it. Proc. Uh, do it. NP. So what we're doing now is we're delineating. Is that what delineating? Is that the right word? I don't know. Where we're saying, hey, this is where our do it proc will start. What's proc? Well, it's short for procedure or function, if you're familiar with those. If you're not, don't stress it. Basically, from main, I'm going to call do it. And that says, basically, and start running the instructions over here that we write in our assembly code. So let's see if that actually actually builds and compiles. Let's check the status bar down here. Control Shift B. Build started. Build succeeded. Interesting. Okay. Let's actually have the CPU do something. Now, the CPU has a bunch of stuff on it called registers, and, which is a fancy long word for chunks of RAM. All right, and there's several different kinds of registers on there, but I'm just going to teach you about one of them for now, and and the name of this register is E A X. All right, and there's registers E B X, E C X, E D X, and a whole bunch of other ones we'll get to eventually. But I just want to deal with this one 32-bit piece of RAM that is sitting on my CPU, and I want to put a value in this register. So the way we do that is with a super intuitive instruction that says move into EAX, the value, what value should we do? Let's do, I don't know, let's do 8. All right. So what we're saying is copy the value 8 into the register EAX. All right. Now you can think of it as moving 8 into the EAX, but really what it's doing is it's going to take the literal value of 8 and copy it into EAX, and that'll make more sense why I say it's a copy instead of a move later when we start dealing with multiple registers. Let's, uh, let me, uh, I'll just take that off the screen temporarily, and uh, I'm going to hit F11. Build start, build succeeded, we're in C++ land. Control Alt D to bring up the disassembly. And you can see here that Visual Studio loves to add a whole bunch of debugging stuff in here, which will get in the way of us learning um, assembly language. So I actually want the Visual Studio to tell the C++ compiler, do not add all this debugging instruction. So I'm going to hit Shift F5 to turn off the debugger. I'm going to go here to debug and I'm going to say, hey, strip out all the debug stuff. Let's go lean, mean, and clean, as lean as we can get. F11, build start, build succeed. You can see here this complaining it doesn't know about do it. And that's because on this file, my assembly file, when I wrote the instructions here, if I go to general, the command line's gone. Why is the command line gone? Well, that's because we wrote it for the debug mode. Oh, what a pain. What a pain. So so now I'm going to, oh, there's a few ways to fix this, but let's just be clean and dirty. I'm going to, or down and dirty. I'm going to paste that over there, go to debug. Oh, yeah, I want to save the changes. And let's grab this and go back to release and paste it there. We're going to say assembling our assembly code. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, whatever message you want there. Click OK. F11. Ah, now we're debugging. Control Alt D, bring up the disassembly window. You can see all the barf is gone. The only instruction we have is go call or execute or run our do it function. So I'm going to hit F11, which will step us over to the do it code. And you can see we're not really, um, I mean, this looks like nothing we typed, all right? I mean, this is, this is the actual file that we typed, and this looks like nothing we typed. And that's because the Microsoft Assembler assembled all this code into lean and mean 
uh, ones and zeros. And now Visual Studio is giving us its best shot at saying, well, the ones and zeros, they translate back to what you see here. And this is actually quite nice because this here's our move instruction. We wrote right here, we see our move instruction is move EAX8. Well, I want to prove to you that this actually copies the value 8 into EAX. And then what I need to do is bring up the registers window. Uh, so I'm going to click on debug, windows, and registers, or I could have hit control DR. And now we can see all the registers. I told you there were several on the CPU, but I'm only worried right now about EAX. And right now it has this value in here, and how it got that value, I don't care. It's just there, left over from the last thing that used this register. I'm going to hit F11, and watch what happens to EAX when I hit F11, which will step us over this one instruction. F11, there you go. See, it's an 8. All right, and then we get into some other stuff that don't stress this. All right, Shift F5, let's do some more interesting assembly. I wanted to take the value we just uh, put into EAX, and I want to copy it into EBX. So again, I'm going to type move into EBX, whatever is in EAX. All right, and again, this maybe copy would have been a better word here, but they decided to use move. But I'm saying move from EAX into EBX. F11 to start the debugger. Uh, Control Alt D, bring up the disassembly. F11 again to go to our do it function in assembly land. And now you see we have the two instructions right here. And you can ignore this portion for now. Just focus on the assembly instructions which we wrote. Move into EAX the value 8. So that will change EAX to an 8. F11. Very good. Move into EBX, whatever value is in EB EAX. So that's literally going to copy this value from EAX into EBX. F11, you see EBX changed. And what's nice about the debugger is it highlights in red the things that changed via the last instruction. So the last instruction did not muck around with EAX at all, but it did change EBX, and that's why this is highlighted in red. You can also see this EIP is highlighted in red. It's the instruction pointer. I'll talk about that later. Anyway, uh, I mean, we could step through all this, but I don't... F11, 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 F11. Uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about this. Shift F5, and we're done. So there you go. There's a little bit of assembly. Hopefully you're kind of getting comfortable. There's a CPU, has some registers. The registers are 32 bits wide, hence the term Win32 programming for 32-bit on the Intel architecture here. And we're going to get into more interesting things in future videos.